welcome back welcome back and if you are new here hi my name is kayla welcome to life with kayla it is officially february it is one of my favorite months of the year and it is black history month so this month i am doing one video a day in order to celebrate in our black heritage black history month I hope you guys are ready for these 28 videos. Subscribe, like, hit them post notifications, and comment down below Black History. Richard Allen was born on February the 14th, 1760 in Delaware Colony. He died on March the 26th, 1831 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. His church was the African Methodist Episcopal Church. He was married to Sarah Allen. Their children were Richard Jr., James, John, Peter, Sarah, and Anne. He was buried at the Mother Bethel AME Church in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Richard Allen was a slave who had a religious conversion experience at the age of 17 which made him pursue ministry as his life's work. He became the first African-American licensed to preach in 1782 and the first ordained deacon in this country in 1799. Richard taught himself to read and write and he joined the Methodists at the age of 17. Allen's master was touched by Reverend Freeborn Garretson's preaching, which encouraged slaveholders to emancipate their people. He was convinced that slavery was wrong and offered enslaved people an opportunity to buy their freedom. After performing extra work, Allen bought his freedom in the early 1780s and changed his name from Negro Richard to Richard Allen. Allen was qualified as a preacher in 1784 and in 1786 Allen became a preacher at St. George's Methodist Episcopal Church in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, but was only able to preach early morning services. In 1787, Allen and a Methodist preacher by the name of Absalom Jones led black members out of St. George's Methodist Church and formed the FAS, Free African Society. The FAS was a non-denominational mutual aid society that assisted fugitive enslaved people and new migrants to the city. By 1794, the society had enough money saved to build the Bethel Church. In 1816, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruled that Bethel could become independent of the Methodist, of the Methodist Society and Allen was consecrated as its first bishop. From 1797 until his death, Allen and his wife, Sarah, operated a station on the Underground Railroad for fugitive enslaved people. Allen died at home on March 26, 1831, and was buried at the church he found.